Hi guys, in this video we are doing a morning and nighttime routine for my reptiles. As you can see, I did an intro for it. I was not happy with it, so I'm doing a voiceover now. And um, I'm basically just explaining to you guys how the first thing I do every morning is feed my leopard gecko sunflower. She eats in the morning. I don't know why she's like that. She's a little bit different. But anyways, I start off my morning by me feeding her first and then I'll go on to turn on the lights and um, go on with my reptile routine. So the first thing that I will do is take out everybody's old food from yesterday. And if it needs to get clean like this, I will clean it. I don't know if that's poop or what. I think that's poop because I didn't give her anything that would look like that. And I just kind of like spot clean a little bit. It looks like she paid in here, so I'll clean this out. I don't always clean out all their bowls every day, but I will empty them out and like give them new water. What's up, girl? start with Nairobi and Macris just because they eat the same salads and insects so I'll just do those at the same time there's a cricket eating some greens You mad? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? What's up with that beard? So now I get the greens from my fridge. And I already rinsed out Nairobi's dish. Max dish wasn't too bad, so I just left it alone. I'm trying to do like a typical morning routine for you guys so I typically do not wash everyone's um, bowls every day that's something I do about once a week unless it gets horrible then I will do it so this is for Mac hi Mac I know I'm scary here okay you're mad all right for sure oh wait I forgot to put calcium All right, so calcium. I give them calcium about four times a week, I would say. I don't always give them calcium. And then I'll give them a vitamin like once a week, a vitamin powder. Oh, I forgot how to wash this because she did pee in here, it looks like. So let me rinse this out real quick. Now that that's clean, we'll put it back and then give them both insects. You ready? You ready to eat? I know you are. So I will be giving them dubious today. And this is what I don't like crickets. First of all, most of them die. Okay, I don't know how I can keep them alive any longer. But I mean, there's still some, there's a lot in these tube things. Or I think there is. I don't know. There should be. But I love these. I love these um, containers because you just pull it out and you don't have to touch anything. And then you just go like that. And they fall out. 
One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna give her five dubias. You see your dubias? You gonna come and get them? Sometimes she'll run down here, but not today. You getting warmed up today? Okay. All right. See ya. Bye. And Mac is over here ready. You ready? too much but it's okay you are active I will fill up everybody's water at the end I do it all at once so moving along let's put these back and move on to Frankie and Tokyo so I'll just kind of do the same thing grab all the old food from yesterday this little hide over here for him and I think it's been working very well so he has like two hides on his um, warm side okay so take out as much of the grass that I can and I dust this off and then I just dump his water Frankie and Tokyo's, I do rinse and scrub more often than everybody else's. I do it at least like two to three times a week instead of just once a week. But I did um, clean his, I think it was like a day or two ago, so should be fine. And now Tokyo. Because Tokyo gets so much dirt in her water, sometimes I do just... Um, grab the whole thing and I'm gonna have to put you guys down for this and now this is clean so I'm gonna put it back and now it's time to feed put some greens and um, food in here for them. Tokyo eats greens like these, so I'm gonna put some of those in here for her. And then I'm gonna cut up some superworms. I'm not gonna give her that, um, this stuff. I only give this as a treat kind of, maybe once or twice a week, and then for the most part she'll eat superworms or I'll cut up a dubia for her. Any insect I put in here I will just cut because she's so small that um, they'll just get away. And where is she? Let's see if we can find her without messing with her too much. There she is, right there. I don't know if you can see that, but she's right here. So I will usually pick this grass from my showroom at work because there's a big field and I know there's no chemicals being sprayed on it. So I'll get like grass and this is like a dandelion green. I buy these at the supermarket but I also can just pick them from the field. 
So I give him a big handful. Um, tortoises are grazers, so he'll eat all day. Okay, so now let's give everybody new fresh water. You're still not eating, huh? I'm shocked. Oh, you see them finally? You see dubias? Yep, they're right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. Thinking about it? Okay. All right, bye. Water for Frankie. And I will come back to fill the rest up. More water. Sunflower, as you can see, her water is crystal clear because I had to change it yesterday because I accidentally spilled a bunch of calcium on it. So she is the only one not getting new water. What's up, dude? I double check to make sure that I give everybody water because I would hate to forget somebody. Now I'm gonna give Tokyo her um, super warm. And I'm gonna cut it and I'm not gonna show you guys because I don't know, I, I feel like YouTube would not like that. And now we're putting some calcium on Tokyo's food. And we're gonna take this over to Frankie. go the sunflowers potty dish is all ready and clean what is that oh that's a big ass beetle or something i'm just gonna leave that alone honestly i don't want to deal with that shit today not this early in the morning Frankie's enclosure gets sprayed down a little bit too. This is to prevent pyramiding in the shell is what I researched and a lot of breeders said the same thing. So that's what I'm doing. And then Tokyo's enclosure gets a really good misting as well. This is it as far as the morning routine goes. We will be coming back later and give Tilly her food and we'll see what kind of mess everybody made. Right, Mac? Especially you. I'm talking to you, mostly you. No, Frankie makes messes too, but it's mostly Mac. So we'll see. It is around 6 p.m., 6.30-ish. So let's see what everybody, I've been checking on them all day, but this is what it looks like at the end of the day. So definitely drinking some water, ate most of his grass and weeds, 
and now he should be back in his favorite spot there he is ready for bed ready for bed Nairobi hey girl so she ate all her insects and there's definitely a cricket in here and yeah she ate a lot of her greens Sunflower has pretty much been sleeping all day, but she's up right now. Tilly, we're gonna we're gonna miss her and give her her food. Tokyo did eat her superworms, and she was also in her water. There's a little bit of dirt in there. She's probably right back over there. Let's take a look at Mac and his damage. There he is. Hi, Mac. And that's the big old mess he made. The bowl is em empty, so he ate a lot of it, and the rest is in his water dish and on the ground. No shame. Crazy guy. Are you trying to fight me? Now I'm going to miss Killy's and Tilly's enclosure and see how much she ate last night. So she ate most of that and get her some new food. I'll probably throw some crickets in here as well for the weekend. I am starting a voiceover here because it is the afternoon and my family's up, my house is loud, so this just works out better. I am mixing Tilly's food so that I can give it to her in the perfect consistency that she likes. One day I do want to make a smoothie. I see that I've heard that people do that and they'll make a smoothie for their crested gecko. So I'm going to try that one day. And um, anyways, yeah, this is my last reptile that I feed for the day. And I will start turning on everybody's lights and um, get everybody ready for bed. And then I'll wake up the next day and do it all over again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget to drink your water. Stay hydrated. And I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.